What's up guys and welcome back to Project Z Garage. My name is Ansar and today we're going to continue doing some work on the ML350. Uh, we did have some issues with our fog lights. We were on a road trip. We hit a deep puddle of water and it kind of knocked out our, our one side fog light and the headlight was kind of flickering. Um, luckily the Mercedes is a heavy truck so we didn't have any problems with hydroplaning. But it definitely gave us some issues. So today we're going to do... We're gonna swap out the uh, fog lights to something new. Uh, I'll have my brother turn the headlights on and turn the fog lights on. And you can see this side is great. Now I am running HIDs in the fog lights too. So you know what? We're probably just gonna switch this out after we did the Audi and I really like the uh, the yellow tint to the fog lights like the really yellow uh, color look we're gonna switch these out to the Hella uh, 2300 light bulbs and we are also in another video gonna replace our HID headlights because this side looks fine but this side I don't know if you can really tell it's a little bit uh, of a different shade although they are working but now the fog light is not working on this side now the fog lights are pretty easy to change out you just need to remove the front part of the inner wheel well which I'll show you guys how to do in a second and then uh, you have access to the back of the bulb here and also the back of the headlight so uh, stay tuned as we uh, start disassembling the car so we can change these bulbs all right guys so just so you can see what bulbs we're using uh, it's the H11 I found this on Amazon, so let's, we're going to test these out and see how well they work out. So it says Hella 2900K, I'm sorry. These are the H11 Extreme Yellow bulbs. Um, let's see if there's a part number. I think it's just H11 is what you, what you would, uh, which is the size of the, the uh, bulb that fits in there. And, it's, and this one says H11YL, I guess that's for yellow. Uh, 2900K is the, this is the uh, color rating. Um, let's just show the back so you guys can see. And now let's get back to disassembling the car so you guys can see what it takes to get to the back of these lights. All right, guys. So first thing we're going to do is take off the wheel, jack your car up, of course. You should be able to do that. Uh, it's a 19 millimeter for these 19 inch wheels. And we already got some of it off. We also are using our wheel hanger just so that the wheel doesn't drop off and hit the caliper. Um, I don't know if all of all ML350s come with this, but it's where the spare tire is. You'll see it in the foam. Uh, it has a foam spot that's uh, molded into the back there. So let me just get the last two lug nuts off here. Now you might be able to get this done with the tire on, just uh, turning the wheel all the way out, but just so that you guys can see a better a view of how to do this. We're going to remove the rim. Now we have a 10 millimeter socket and just a prying tool to take out the push pin. Pull the tire out. Alright, so what we're going to first work on is getting rid of these uh, or removing these push pins over here so just take your pry tool and you just got to get the center out first and just work your way around I think our pry tool might be oh, it's a little too big but it should do the job there we go and then you're just gonna pull it out a little and then sometimes the middle comes out but try to get it out far enough there we go and there there's the push pin right there Let's see if you can see it better there. Your arm's blocking the light. There you go. Alright. So that's one there. Center came out of that. That's all right. Again. It's two. We have a third one here. There we 
we're gonna try to work on. We're going to take our 10 millimeter socket and we're going to remove, there's a plastic nut here that we got to remove. And so be careful with these because it's just plastic holding the stuff in. And then we have uh, another one up here. One good thing, Mercedes made this in two pieces so that you don't have to take the whole fender lining off. You just got to take the front of it off. So that's good. There's two metal tens here and here. So we're going to take those off too. Damn. Oh, this one's on pretty tight. And these do get rusted up, so be careful. You don't want to snap the bolt off so just take your time like that that sets two there and now under the car there's three more come up 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 and if you go under you'll be able to feel them so we have one here That's it. This other one's it. missing, yeah. Yeah, one's missing. All right. That happens. You go take it to the dealership. They don't put all of them back in. Now, what you're going to have to do, because this has a, has a bolt coming out this way, is pull the inside out first, like that. Work your way around. And then you're going to have to push this piece in and twist. Pull this down a little bit, and there we go. Move this out the way. Now you guys can see in here, you got your windshield washer fluid bottle. You've got access to your fog light right here. And you got the back of your uh, headlight up there if you needed to change one of those bulbs. So what we're focusing on is the fog lights. So now this is pretty simple. I mean, it's, a, it's easier on the passenger side because the windshield wiper bottle is not there, so you have a little more room to play with, but you still have enough to get your hand in there. And you're just going to give it a counterclockwise. Like, uh, counterclockwise quarter turn, and that pulls the bulb out. Now, we added HIDs to ours, that's why we have all this extra wiring. So from here, you would just have to um, unplug it. What we're going to do, uh, out, get me some snips. Need that anymore. Hard 
to see. But I'm just taking the this harness off of the old one. Here, and that pretty much is how you take apart this. This is the harness here for the fog light. Um, we're gonna have to play with it a little more. I think it's a little hung up here, so let's get that a little loose, and then I'll, the next we'll show you how to put the new bulb in. Guys, right, so we got some more slack. Oh, we did have some more slack here with the fog light connector. Now what we're going to do is get our fog light bulb out of here. We don't want to touch it. Try not to touch the bulb itself. And then what we're going to do is slide easily. Get it in there. I would have plugged it in first. But no, because no? you might be right. But... So clockwise to lock it? Yeah, it's clockwise, but it needs a little click. Alright, now let's hope, I think Al was right when he said to put the, the connector in first. Al's right. Let's pull this back out. Let's put the connector on first. like it's plugged in it's pretty tight if you look at the way it's connected it's pretty close to that uh, crash bar so definitely when you're putting in it be careful um, I think we're good there so before we uh, end this let's uh, test it out and make sure the bulbs are working guys let's try it out I'll turn the headlights on I think the car needs to be on. There we go. There's our headlights and let's try our fog lights. And there we go. It's looking good. Make sure both sides are working. And they look really good. Nice and yellow the way I wanted it. And just so you can see on this side, it's pretty much the same way. Actually, you got a little more room on the passenger side. And now, all right, Al. I think you can turn it off. So now we get to put the wheel well back in and we're just going to do the reverse steps of how we uh, took it out. Um, pretty much that concludes how to change your fog lights on a 2010 ML350. Uh, this is a W164 model and the bulbs are H11. If you didn't know, I'll put all the information in the description below. Uh, if you're new to the channel or if you've been watching and haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up share like all that good stuff leave a comment down below and we will catch you in the next video